Welcome back to Views with the user Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification. So that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Okay, so this time I'm not going to talk about a particular story. In general, I'm going to send out a fair warning to all my viewers and subscribers out there. Okay, so we have places like Variety and in this case, the direct putting out there was like more speculation because I had a thought about this today. And I'm actually tired of, you know, sources close to a company or inside a company if they're not really trustworthy on going out here to these mainstream media outlets who are acting like gossip columns or um sources out here who are going to these outlets claim to be media, but are nothing more than more than host of fluff pieces, okay? Angering up the fandom and dividing us even further. Okay, so um, the direct, just like, you know, Variety, and I've also seen this on Twitter too, stating that James Gunn was reportedly not reboot, fully rebooting DC Snyderverse, okay? So we've heard that before, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I don't know. So basically what the article is talking about here is that how... They said in that, you know, it's not going to fully be restored, where it says the reboot of DC that gave off mixed reactions from the fans, but it's shown no signs of slowing down either. And James Gunn has been at the forefront of basically providing news about what's next for the superhero franchise with a good chunk of it focused on recasting actions such as Batman and um, Superman with Henry Cavill. But the thing is, it's like there's people out there constantly talking and going to these outlets, claiming to be sources of the company stating that there's been secret meetings going on and that James Gunn is not fully um, looking to reboot the whole Snyderverse, okay? They've put information out there um, such as where it states that the plan for DC um, co Studios co heads James Gunn and Peter Safran described... As, described it as a broad but not blanket reset where nothing's being ruled out okay the word the phrase nothing's been ruled out that should give us enough um insight as to the fact that there's nothing new under the sun right now we've it's basically the same thing that's been happening before and then there's also um meaning it means that the aquaman shazam blue beetle and guns peacemaker series from hbo max will be maybe incorporated into the new DCU. Another thing is that it states um, that Margot Robbie's um, Harley Quinn and John Cena's Peacemaker um, will still stick around and Peter Safran's connection for the Shazam franchise as his producer, producer could also hint that Zachary Levi could end up staying as the, D, um, the DC hero. And there's no word. It's unclear about, you know, Aquaman having Jason Momoa around with the rumors of him playing Lobo. And if it's true, the report suggests that this future would depend on the performance of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom at the box office and reviews. OK, and so far, Blue Beetle, which is um, going to be in theaters this fall, has been um, recently earned, seemed to earn positive reactions from test screenings. OK. But it, may, it will need to become a box office hit in order for it to be called a, su a success and for it to continue to um, reign under um, Gunn's regime, okay? But the thing is, we've all um, heard it before and we heard it and we read it from James Gunn's tweets where he says that watch the way basically says tells us to not believe what you know the people out there claim to be sources or the rumors out there if it's not coming from him or peter saffron or even david zaslav it's not true okay james gunn and peter saffron both have control creative control over the dc films okay they have creative control over the um dcu david zaslav is also overseeing that all right, but do not let rumors or anything coming from sources out there that hasn't been confirmed by various um, well-known YouTubers who have actually had things confirmed like Overlord DVD divide the fandom. All right. I'm not saying Overlord DVD is dividing the fandom. He's actually helping strengthen it. Okay. I'm talking about the places like Variety 
who get so-called sources out there telling them these things, all right? They're the ones who's going to be dividing fandom. So let me know your thoughts about this whole thing. Do you think that there's any like merit to this or do you think it's nothing more than a big fluff piece? Because guess what? I think that um, places like Variety are nothing more than websites or, uh, or publications that sells put out the nothing but fluff pieces. And I don't really report much from um, Variety either. All right. And that's the reason why. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and also if I went wrong anywhere in the video, go ahead and let me show me your thoughts and then make corrections in the comments. Also, if you have any additional thoughts that I've missed out on, go ahead and add that in the comments below. And also, if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification. So that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. And if you enjoyed this video and what I shared in the video, go ahead and smash that like button and share this video everywhere far across so wide or social media. And I'll say, I'll say it again. If you enjoy what I share in this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification. So that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.